In this video, we're going to talk about a product called Pixel Me. It's something that I've been using for quite a while. I really like it. The, the core use case for it is to shorten your URLs that you're sharing on social media to resources that you don't own and be able to attach a retargeting pixel. So once you put that retargeting pixel, of course, you can run ads on it. I'm going to actually go over a couple of use cases that you might not think about on why you need this product. So stay tuned for those different use cases than just the retargeting. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. Today I want to talk about a product called Pixel Me. It's pixelme.me and I always recommend you have a good URL shortener in your arsenal. Um, there's a lot of use cases for it. I've talked about using Bitly in the past. Check out my video on that where I talk about using Bitly and tying that together with Buffer. What's nice about Pixel Me is it adds a little extra dimension where they allow you to actually uh, share your URLs that you create and then retarget those. So they allow you to put a pixel, a Facebook pixel, Twiddle pixel, LinkedIn, Google, whatever it might be into the actual URL that you're sharing. So I'll show you what that means. But what's really nice about that, you know, if you're familiar with Facebook advertisement and things like that in the Facebook pixel, very easy to put that on your own website. But if you're sharing, if you're curating content, if you're sharing things that are not on your website, then that makes it difficult to track who clicked on your link and to target them with those ads. So that's their use case. But I'm going to show you a couple of different use cases that I use Pixel Me for that's very, very important and relevant to your business. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, I want to log in as my TechSmart boss. ID here. Let me put my password in. So I've been using this for a while. I want to save that. And you can kind of see in my dashboard, I have all my links from TechSmart Boss that I share out here. Now, one of the reasons that I really like using Pixel Me is one, they support custom domains. Very, very important. That's why I used to like uh, Bitly for this. But the other reason I like it is they allow you to customize everything about that domain, more sp most specifically the slug. So you'll see, for example, let's look at one of my YouTube videos. I actually had a person on YouTube ask me how I was doing this, and I talked about Pixel Me, and I said I would record a video. So that's what kind of drove this video. You'll see here in my description, I say check it out, talking about my Instagram page, and I've got b.smartboss.co slash Instagram. And when I click on that, you'll see that it's going to take me to my Instagram page uh, directly. Now, let's go back and look at that. Now, why didn't I just put in my Instagram URL here? Well, if I did that, I would never know anyone on YouTube who clicked to my Instagram page because I can't put any kind of tracking pixels. I can't put the Facebook pixel or anything like that on a straight URL that takes a person to Instagram. But with this b.smartboss.co, which is coming through Pixel Me, if I go back over here, you'll see that I actually have my Facebook, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, my Quora, all my tracking pixels built into that link so that now these things can pop into Facebook, for example, and I can set up a custom audience and I happen to know that they liked, you know, they went to my Instagram page. I might send them a message targeted around my uh, Instagram or something like that. Lots of different use cases where you can you can target them for that. Now, I'm in their agency plan or I'm in their multi custom domain plan here where I've got a couple. I'm going to pop over into my Yerby account. I'm going to show you a use case that you may not think about when it comes to this sort of thing. It has nothing to do with tracking pixels. Uh, even though you can definitely tie it to tracking pixels, it has nothing to do with tracking pixels. Very often, I'll have support articles. I'll have things built into my software or built into uh, my various web pages that will link to something like a support article. Now, you'll notice this is support.yerby.com, and it's an article with a, a very cryptic kind of name here. I just went through a migration. I switched from Help Scout to Kayako on my support desk, and all my links broke because Help Scout 
this same article had a different URL. So all the places that I put this URL across my websites, it completely broke when I switched to a new help desk system. You're kind of held hostage when you tie everything into one system like that. Well, look what I could do now with Pixel Me. I'm going to copy this URL. I really don't care about the pixel because I, I own this. I could put a pixel on this particular web page. I know who comes and hits this web page because I can, I've already inserted a pixel on this particular website. But what I can do now, if I come over here and copy and paste that URL, and I can decide, I have to put at least one pixel. So I'll just leave Quora on that one. But you'll notice that you can have as many pixels as you kind of want here. I'm going to go ahead and say pixelize me. And what that's going to do is it's going to apply my custom domain as you can see here it's going to bring in all the header and the link and the slug information and watch this i can edit this now and i can change this slug to be something a little bit more user friendly i'll change this to be installation for example hit save now what i really like about this so now for example if i copy this and i come over here to a new tab and paste even though it's go.yerby.com slash installation, when I click on that, it's going to take me to that article. So that's nice. Now, let's imagine I decide to switch from Kayako once again, and I switch to, I don't know, Zendesk as an example. And all of a sudden, my, my slug here, my link is totally changed once again. What's nice about Pixel Me is I have the ability now to edit this and take a look at this. I can edit the link that it goes to. I can change that link, keep my slug the same. I can even update the title. I could change the slug if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that because that's what I'm using to share things out with. But now I can update this URL without changing my slug and have everything work seamlessly. And I really like that. And what's cool about this is you can use it not only for this use case, but you can also bring in, for example, uh, I've got Dropbox files and I've got things like that. I might want to move all my files off of Dropbox to maybe my web hosting. Maybe I want to put them in pCloud. You want to say flexible as a TechSmart boss. Again, I can take a URL like that and again, come over here and pixelize it. And then once I pixelize it, I can then edit that slug. So you'll see that this is actually a Dropbox link at this point. I can edit this slug to maybe say buyer's guide because that's what this PDF is about. And I don't need the dot PDF in my title. And now anytime somebody, I can share this out on my social media sites. I can share this anywhere. And where before I would never know who was clicking on a particular uh, file and looking at an actual uh, PDF file, I can now even get that sort of pixel type of things on a PDF file. So think about using something like a, a Pixel Me. There, there's a couple other products out there, but I have to be honest, I really think Pixel Me is the easiest and the best approach in how you can tie multiple custom domains together. You can get stats on everything. You can do bulk import. Uh, so there's a lot of features in here that I'm not covering. Uh, but if this is something that you're interested in, go out and do pixelme.me, check it out. And think about it as not just for pixel tracking uh, on social media sites when you're sharing that curated content which is very nice I love it for that use case but also think about it as how you can keep your organization flexible now by using these sorts of links when you embed in your website or you're sharing your application or wherever it might be and if you ever do change the underlying location of that resource you can come in here and update your slug and you don't have broken links throughout your environment Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, go out to our Facebook page. Subscribe there. We're doing some fun stuff out there. And also, check out www.techsmartboss.com for more. See you next time.